So as our last hope of finding three-year-old Kaylee Anthony really come and gone, a team of more than 2,000 volunteers searched for the missing Florida toddler. This happened over the weekend. They combed the area where police tracked some promising leads from a murder suspect Casey Anthony's cell phone, cell phone pings. Uh, these are pings around the time when her daughter was last seen. Well, they actually find. And now we've got celebrity bounty hunter Leonard Padilla in on the mix. He's testing a new theory. He's hired a dive team. All these what ifs. When and if are we ever going to find little Kaylee? Joining us now to talk about it once again, Prime News law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks. Uh, also with us, Marva Hinton, reporter for WDBO Radio. And I believe we also have Gary Peterson, spokesman for EquiSearch, uh, standing by as well. But uh, Marva, let's start with you. All right, Leonard Padilla, what's he up to? Well, Mike, he started his own search today. He is searching in a park that Casey did mention to investigators, Blanchard Park. At one point, she told them that she left Kaylee there with the nannies, Anita Gonzalez, who, of course, now detectives say they don't believe even exist. Um, but the reason that Leonard has started a search there, there is a river that runs through there. Uh, he decided to look in that river. He hired the dive team because a member of someone actually with EquiSearch, when they were searching back in August, found a cross there on one of the trees. Mm. Uh, the cross was near a playground. It was made out of some arts and crafts materials, like some beads, things like that. And a member of Leonard's team apparently saw some of these same materials in Casey's room when Casey was out on bond. She said that Casey often made these types of arts and crafts projects using these materials. So Leonard's theory is that perhaps Casey dumped Kaylee's body in this river, and that's why he has a dive team out there today. Gotcha. All right, Mike, you talked to Leonard Padilla. What's yeah. he telling you? No, that's exactly what he told me. He told me that exact same story, Pat. In fact, the EquiSearch people were bat were there in Blanchard Park searching on August 27th when they first noticed this, and we saw the picture of it there because somebody took a picture. Well, he started talking to a couple of people went on Friday and said, well, wait a minute. They started comparing notes, and that's why he said, well, you know what? She talked about it all the time, and as Marva said, she co would constantly mention uh, Blanchard Park as one of the places she used to go with Kaylee, that Z Zenaida Gonzalez, who doesn't exist, would go with Kaylee. So he said, well, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and, and take a look? So when they went back, and they went around by the tree, and they did find a couple of the beads because apparently, you know, with weather and everything else, this cross had blown away. But in fact, uh, they, you know, his theory is the possibility because there's apparently a place right there you can pull your car up, and, uh, you know, and, and again, all theory, is that uh, he took the body, she took the body and put it into the river, right. which, uh, you know, which could be. So that's, they were searching it, they're done for the day, and uh, there was a little confrontation uh, with uh, Cindy and George there who came down to the river today and got into a little, uh, a little confrontation with uh, Leonard Padilla. And you, can you tell us any more about that, Marva? A little confrontation, yes, uh, give us some specifics, what happened? <laughs> That was really shocking to everyone out there. I was out there today covering the search, and I just look up, and all of a sudden, I see George Anthony. Then I see Cindy. Uh, they both approach Leonard. They are upset, especially Cindy. She was very upset. Uh, they asked us to give them some space, so we weren't right there uh, up on them, but we were close enough that I could hear part of what was being said. Uh, Cindy said, you're not doing anything good for Kaylee, and at one point, she threatened to sue Leonard. Hmm. She was upset because Leonard has planned a memorial service for Kaylee tomorrow morning at Blanchard Park and she feels that that's inappropriate. Uh, she said she had him to talk to her attorney, uh, Mark Nejames. She called him and had him talk to Leonard about this. They're saying, Leonard, what you're doing here is you're jumping to conclusions. And when we talked to Leonard afterward, he said, yes, I do have conclusions. I believe that Casey killed Kaylee and I believe she dumped the body here and I'm going to search. And Leonard said he's not going to back off just because the Anthony's would like him to. All right, let's see. Uh, is it real quick? Is the memorial going forward? Yes, it it's is. going forward wow. tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, and he told me, Mike, he, I said, uh, you know, what, what happened? Right before we went to air, I talked to him again. He said that, uh, that uh, Cindy got up in his face, didn't get physical, but uh, she did say that she was going to sue okay. and uh, try not to have this, this memorial service tomorrow night. Gotcha. Let's get some calls in. Eleanor in California. Eleanor, should you comment yeah. a question? Go ahead. Um, how come they didn't, instead of all these people, how come they didn't use the cadaver, do the cadaver dogs to go right there and um, where they were looking instead of using those sticks and everything, which could destroy some of the evidence? Gotcha. You know? Mike, can you handle that one? Yeah, at this point, there probably isn't too much tissue for the cadaver dogs to hit on. They went back, they were in that area on August 27th with some dogs and with people. And uh, so, I mean, this was basically their kind of their last chance in this particular area. Now, that, that's Blanchard Park. This other area that she's speaking of is, is over by Orlando International Airport where the timeline and the cell pings say that she could have been in this area. But uh, the Leonard's also saying uh, that 
with the cell pings. Apparently on August 25th, there were no calls whatsoever to or from her phone, basically saying that she must have turned her phone on. And that's when he thinks that she dumped the body okay. in, that, in Blanchard Park area. Down the call, uh, Angela in New York. Angela, go ahead. Yes, hi. Hi, hey. Mike. I love your show. Thanks. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah. I have one comment and one quick question. Go ahead. Um, don't take this the wrong way. I've been following this through Nancy Grace. I've been sick. I mean, it's like I wish I could just come in and help everybody. To me, Cindy Anthony is a clone to her daughter, Casey. Uh, they are so much alike, it's frightening. Mm. I think she knows that the truth, the mother. I think she's lying. She's just going along with this, and it's this horrible tragedy with the lies to help her daughter. I feel awful for George. If I was George, I would pack up my bags and I would leave. It's, it's, I see it in that woman's face. I'm sorry, but she is just like her daughter. The motions, the, it's just horrible, and I'm sick. And my, and my question, I'll hurry up. You want to get rid of me? <laughs> I'm worried about the alligators over there. Ooh. Are yeah. there any? Real quick, Mike. That was one of the concerns uh, with Leonard and the divers as, uh, as, as the alligators because we, there are alligators in that part of the country, and that was one of the concerns of his divers, and then that's why he would only have one person in the water at a time today. Gotcha. Okay. Mike Brooks, Marvin Hinton, you, the viewers, love the phone calls. Thanks again, guys.